Hello everyone, I just turned I just bought this game, it was on sale on Steam for forty dollars and nineteen cents. And I thought I should buy it. And I was waiting for the price to go down from sixty to forty. And ever since I saw this uh, game, uh, I wanted it. But, you know, it's, it's freaking complicated. I, mean, I want you to look at the controls here. Look at look at this. This is the controls. Like I've never seen this this much. It's ridiculous. This is like this is ridiculous. I don't know. Alright, but we're gonna do some training. We're gonna see how this works out. The A10C conversion training course. Over the next few days, we'll teach you to fly and fight in the latest incarnation of the toughest, meanest, and ugliest jet in the Air Force inventory. The A10C Thunderbolt 2, better known as the Warthog or simply the Hog. Let's take a look inside the A10C's office. This has received quite a facelift since the A-10A. Good the God. first noticeable difference is... This concludes the overview of the A-10C. We'll begin taking a more thorough look at the aircraft starting with the next lesson. But now, you've got a mandatory date with the Warthog flight manual. So get busy reading. Are you just kidding me? The thing is... So Hello everyone, this is Welcome a tutorial. To take off in basic handling training flight. Today, you're taking the A-10C up for a spin. <sighs> you a vegetable here. You perform a standard takeoff, followed by some basic maneuvers at medium altitude. Now hold down the wheel brakes by pressing and holding the W key, and increase throttle to 85% core RPM. Oh, okay. Monitor your flight and engine instrument for any abnormality. Look around the cockpit and check the caution lights panel to ensure no malfunctions are reported. Press the space bar key. Once oh out. shit. You are now ready for takeoff. Fuck. Take a note of your current heading and What the hell? I pressed the brakes. Oh my Begin god. The roll. Release the wheel brakes and advance the throttles to that. Fuck. Use careful nose to the air. Come on. The center of the run. Welcome to the navigation training flight. I've engaged the autopilot on <coughs> <coughs> level and on port. So please do not touch the input controls outside of the training command. In this flight, we'll overview the navigation system of the HMC and practice navigation procedures. Warning, autopilot. Data to the Fuck! What type of navigation point to hold on? Oh god. Specifically, the top row of selected um, between Mars, Iggy, and Shit. Vessel, <laughs> that uh, you will generally use Iggy as your primary I just pulled system. these things that said pull. I, I don't know why, but I just did. Mars. <laughs> it takes time to be big. Alright. Don't know what to do. It doesn't work. Along the bottom row of the NIMSIP are buttons to set the type of um, navigation points to hold on. These include SD. Yeah, don't push these. You're going to die if you do. TCN, TACN, Beacon, and ILS, Instrument Landing System. Okay. Navigate toward the steer point. Right. So SDRPT will be the preferred selection. TACAN and ILS are used for air base approaches and landing. And anchor uh, uh, In review, the selections of source navigation no. system on the top row and the type of navigation uh, points on the bottom row determine what okay. system Okay, that's not good. Presented on the HUD, ADI, okay. And, um, and toward what type of navigation point. Okay, that's not good either. The PTR switch is used to stow away the pitch and um, the steering wheel, as well as the course warning flag on the ADI. The two homing lights to the right of the select buttons indicate the oxygen or regulator. Radio homing when either radio I probably need that ADI to mode. live. All right. Um. Oh God. What's going on? What? Oh my god. What is that fucking noise? <laughs> what the fuck, man? God. What does this button do? <sighs> Height adjustment? Fuck, man. That shit is fucking annoying. Wing. Pumps? That doesn't do anything. Uh, 
Baby. Oh, fuck. That's great. Okay, I think we're just about right. We can do this. Altitude, altitude. All right. Got this. Why do they plant trees there? I mean, I mean, come on. All right, we got this. We got this. Sweet. Oh shit! Come on. Ah, come on. Ah, got it. Yeah. Got it. Oh, come on. All right. Let's see. Broke off our landing gear. But, uh, I'd say that was a success. Still alive. Hello, everyone. Human Vegetable here. And, uh, you know, I'm going to start up this A10C Warthog. It looks like a pain in the ass, but the truth is, um, doesn't take that long to learn. Probably like 15 hours. <laughs> this uh, this game is honestly the most complicated game I have ever played by far. By far. There's nothing that compares to the complexity of this game. Nothing. Absolutely freaking nothing. All right. I'm thinking. I just look left and right and see what I have to do. Can't turn that on yet. Not supposed to. Flaps down. Turn on all the radios. And this is a generated Hold mission. One, three, four, fourteen. Four, two. Tally utility at bullseye three, one, three, four, fifteen. It's really weird. Pull up. Pull up. Very strange. Okay. Alright. Ford 1, tally artillery at bullseye 3, 2, 3, for 16. Before I load all, let me just... Four, two. tally armor at bullseye 3, 2, Six 6 Maverick missiles? I love Maverick missiles. Sorry. See unavailable. Okay. Four two. Tally artillery at bullseye three two four four seventeen. This is good. Got on the seat as well. And finally, we just wait for this thing.
possible. Of that. It's almost done. Okay, it's aligning. Let's play the waiting game. One way is that way. Okay. Four two splash bandit at full time three four eight four twelve. Okay, wonderful. We got all our weapon systems. Four two. Um. I don't recommend this, but I'm just going to turn everything back on. I'll admit, I don't know how to play this game very well, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Four, two, splash bandit at bullseye, three, four, five, four, twelve, at six, thousand, four, two, in front, still aligning or whatever, it's not done yet. It takes at least, uh, four minutes. There we go, nav ready. Nav, eggy, radar. Can't turn that on. And that, there's only one warning light left. I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be like that, but I don't really care. I have to go to waypoint one. It's over there. Okay. Ready to take off. I am pretty sure I'm supposed to radio someone. Uh, where base am I at? Initial position. <laughs> I don't freaking know. Whatever. Okay. Okay, steering engaged. Alright, we are ready to take off. Ford one, in from the east, engaging armor at bulls three two zero for thirteen. Four two, kill armor at bulls three two four four. Oh God. Four two, in from the east, engaging armor at bulls three two four four fourteen. Ford one, kill armor at bulls three two zero for thirteen. Four two. Armor Take off. Oh shit. I can do it. Oh snap. It's a win. It's a win right there. That's, that's a freaking win. Okay, I damaged one of my landing gears, but uh, it was worth it. <laughs> Whatever. Alright. But let's just start buddies. More of that. I think that's enough. I don't want to crash, so... I see, uh... I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure I have something to do with the AA. I really should read the manual, but, uh... See, the thing about that is... Nah. Alright, let's turn a little steeper. There we go. Right about on target. Warning, autopilot. 
Altitude, altitude. Come on. Ford 1, kill the utility at Coles 319 for 13. Ford 1, you're from the east, engaging the utility at Coles 319 for 13. Yeah. Sweet. Ford 1, kill the utility at Coles 319 for 13. Come on. But I didn't get the last one, but you know what? It's whatever. Ford 1. Come on. Warning, autopilot. Just do it. Altitude, altitude. Nice. Dodge one, kill triple A at bullseye zero one seven four twenty two. I don't even know what I'm doing. This is awesome. Holy shit. I don't like that. Uh, I don't like those beeping. Pull up, pull up. Oh shit. Altitude, altitude. Uh, let's land. Uh, uh, that's awesome.